Hello everybody. For the third day in a row, the eruption site remains closed. But the reasons are valid, as the conditions there are in every way bad. As first of all, wildfires are spreading almost uncontrollably, and firefighters are working hard to put the fires out in the dry, windy conditions, which aren't likely to end any time soon. In case the wildfires and the smoke that follows them isn't enough, they are backed up by high amounts of volcanic gas which is blown in the direction of the path leading to the eruption site, putting those who would walk it at risk. So yeah, not the ideal conditions. The state of the eruption resembles the 2022 eruption, and also the later stages of the 2021 eruption, both in output and lava composition. But our experts have revealed detailed analysis of the lava. Let's check them out. So, what does it mean that the eruption is similar to the 2022 eruption and the later stages of the 2021 eruption? Well, it, in almost every way, resembles them. The output is the same and sits around 13 cubic meters per second. And the composition of the lava is also very similar. We can also see, by comparing the craters, that the crater now looks very similar to the crater in the later stages of the 2021 eruption but not so much to the crater back in 2022, which we could take as a good sign as this may indicate a longer eruption than in 2022. As for the speculation section, further analysis of the lava show that it is almost the same as what came up during the 2022 eruption and the later stages of the 2021 eruption, where the strength of magnesium oxide in the lava is very similar to the ratio between potassium oxide and titanium dioxide. Our experts will continue to study the lava of this eruption and get a better understanding of the Fagradalsfjall system and possibly other systems on the peninsula. What is interesting though is that we haven't seen lava contents similar to the beginning of the 2021 eruption again, but the lava back then was very unique and primitive. The gas contents of this eruption resemble those of the 2022 eruption, rather than the 2021 eruption with relatively high levels of CO2, with the daily release being around 7 to 15,000 tons a day, and the sulfur dioxide emissions being 5 to 12,000 tons a day. Our experts weren't able to measure the area or volume of the lava field on the 13th, but they may have been able on the 14th, but the results haven't been released as of the making of this video. But if they come in today, I'll make a post on my channel, so if you're curious, you can check there. But in my last video, which I uploaded on the 13th of July, lava was filling up the small, unnamed valley south of the eruption site. A few hours after I uploaded the video, the lava broke through and continued flowing south, and on July 14th, it connected to the lava fields of the two previous eruptions. So now, the past three eruptions again make up one large lava field, which always looks better. But do we have any news of how long this eruption could possibly last? Not exactly, but we can speculate based on the data we have. It's becoming clear that this eruption is similar to the 2022 eruption, and the later stages of the 2021 eruption, which doesn't sound too good, as we have later, in that sentence, and the 2022 eruption, which was very short. But by comparing the looks of this eruption to the 2022 eruption, and the later stages of the 2021 eruption, it is more similar to the latter mentioned. But the later stages of that eruption lasted from early August to September 19th, or around 6 weeks. So based on these observations, we can estimate that this eruption could last anywhere from 3 to 6 weeks, which means there could be 2 to 5 weeks left. But these estimates are based on very speculative data, and the eruption may as well last much longer, but I think it's pretty safe to say it'll last at least 2 more weeks. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video. And thanks for watching.